Okay, welcome guys. Uh, so today I want to talk about the probability questions related to first day. Okay, so I will provide three different questions related to first day. Uh, I don't know why, uh, why people like to ask first day in the probability question. Maybe uh, one reason, uh, I guess, is that because somehow the answer is very... Uh, uh, may it's not very intuitive so uh, may people may shock about the results and uh, all of them comes from the guilty chances problem in the probability okay but uh, the solving uh, strategy is somewhat a little bit different okay so three problems is that uh, one is uh, there are three so the first one is what is the least number of persons required if the birthday exists is this the probability is this 0.5 that the two of more of them have the same birthday uh, this is called the uh, 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 first day paradox or the paradox. Okay, the second is called uh, you want to find someone whose first day matches yours. So basically, it's so it's imagine that you go to you go you go out and then once you find a, a person in the, uh, uh, on a road, you just ask uh, oh, why is your birthday. Uh, then the what is the least number of strangers whose per, uh, birthday you need to ask about you have 50 50 chance okay so uh the third person is r compare uh, r person compared this birthday in the following problems the probability is pr that at least two of them can have the same birthday what should n be in personal birthday max so this is called but at least this is called the max birthday max because you want to find uh, someone who should match with you. First day map problems make your probability success approximately. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this approximately this PR. So this is um, approximately this PR. Okay. So uh, you will have, you can have any times you want. Okay. So how about we start? If you are ready, then we may start. So the first one is very uh, easy. That uh, uh, this is called. I guess everyone knows about the answer, right? The answer is twenty-two, because this is really famous birthday problems. Okay, but uh, uh, in order to get the answer, uh, uh, it's also very easy that. Uh, so uh, if the less number of people required, so basically. Uh, suppose the the first one person has some birthday in the uh, X. Okay, so the second one, so the second one, the second person have uh, no uh have not the same as the first one. Have not the same birthday and the same day. Uh, of the first one. Uh, it's just uh one minus. One over uh sixty uh uh three hundred sixty five okay so the same is for the third person so third person cannot have birthday uh same as the first one and the second one so the probability is this okay and the uh, the fourth person is this okay. So once we keep going, that uh, what what we need to find, what we can find is suppose I let PR just uh, so at least one match pair is just uh, one minus no match pair. So no match pair means that no any two of them have the same probability. So the answer is just one minus the first one cannot have. Have uh, the, the okay, so second one cannot have the same birthday as the first one, and uh, the third people cannot have the same birthday with the first two, and the uh, fourth people cannot have the same birthday with the first uh, the previous three. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Okay, so what we have is this.
okay so uh, what we what we can do is that uh, we just i can just let the let's do it just for uh, fun so i just let n equal to t the uh uh and just list be the 365 and then we go from r okay suppose you have we have r number individuals so we have list so so you can show it so basically this is n to a r n n minus one up to n minus r plus one okay so this is the answer uh, but we, what, what we need is just to let this answer larger than 0.5 okay so we can just solve r so we can just solve r solve r so and uh, basically uh you can use uh, any any uh, i mean any computation any computation any computation uh you have but uh but i think uh i think it's in, it's okay for you guys just uh plug different r and check the answer so from this you can get r just equal to 26 you just plug and equal to uh, 365 hmm. so this is the answer okay so the second one is that you want to find someone whose birthday matches with yours so basically you go out and you find some a person and you guys oh what is your birthday or if their birthday is the same as you then you get the one okay uh so this problem is somewhat uh, different because uh suppose your birthday so uh, suppose your birthday uh, is at i mean like january 1st then the then the set then any people uh so it's a uh, some person has the same prop has the same birthday with you you get one over uh 365 okay so if they don't have the birthday with you so you are not not the same day then you have uh this one so you, you ask n persons so we want at least one this is equal to my one minus there are, there are no any one so no person uh have the same birthday with you so basically it's one over one minus this one to the n people suppose you uh i should say i should use small n suppose you ask n people right you want this to be larger than half so you can use a computer or basically you can take a log okay uh but i suggest but there's one easy way to do this is that uh, this one can be written as this one and the n just close to and then just 365 okay and uh, if so basically yeah, you can approximate this to be this okay because at uh, least actually exponential minus x can be close to one minus x uh if x is really small uh in in this case one over 60 uh 365 may be really small enough you know it's small enough for you guys so so the answer just okay and then you want this to be larger than 0.5 we can solve this and then we take log log of basal 2 uh, what you get is n is just close to 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.9693 times n so n is 365 what we got is uh, 253 or 253 okay nice okay so the third problem is uh if our present compare birthday in the parent problems the probability that at least the two have the same birthday what should n be when present approximately determine your probability of success is approximately pr this is pr so so what uh, what this means is that uh, you want to relate it the original uh, you want to relate these two basic uh, problems okay so uh, if there are persons so if there are persons 
okay they are comparing they are trying to in a in a pairing province okay so basically in a, in a pairing in a pairing mean in a pairing means that in the first uh in a, in the first problem okay the probability of pi is at least two have the same birthday then we'll w and what we ask is uh, any d uh what number n to should be the birthday mat province basically you go out and you ask oh someone has the same birthday for you so many pro probabilities are safe for pr okay so the answer is very easy that uh, so total to total we have r times r minus one divided by two pair pairs okay so okay so the probability is so for in the first one r just equal to 23 so this 23 means that uh, at least one person at least one person uh should have the uh, sh uh le you have a 50 chance that you can uh, find two two people which have the same probability as uh, which have the same birthday okay so basically you just take r equal to 23 in this one then you you should get the second one because the second one click means that for both individual you can at least find one okay so you can take this you can write two and then you get uh, close this you get a second uh, answer so this is uh, so the third question just asks you about uh, how to relate to the first and the second question okay so i think it's enough for today and i will see you guys in the next interesting videos about the birthday holiday okay thanks be sure to subscribe to my channel